Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today's topic is compared to data set and flag new records, updated records and unchanged records in SAS. To understand this, let's look into our sample data sets in here. We have two data sets in here. The first one is previous underscore month and the second one is current underscore month. And both the data sets have two variables, ID and salary. And in here, to understand this more, what I'm also doing is I am also giving in here the final result we want. Whenever we have ID one of the data set, if it is there in the next data set also and the salary is same, then we are going to have a new variable flag and then we are going to say that there is no change. And if the ID is there in one of the data set and it is also there in the next data set but the salary has changed, we are going to update the salary in our final result to the newest salary whatever we have in here and the flag variable should now has the value of changed for this particular observation. Now here you can see that ID 3 is there in this particular data set but it is not there in the previous data set. So we are going to put this observation in our final result and then we are also going to have the value of flag as new as this is a new record and now if you look into the final observation that is the id4 this is there in this previous data set but it is not there in this data set we are going to again say that there is no change because the salary for id4 has not changed from one data set to another data set to solve this we can simply use merge statement with in equal to data set option. I have made a very detailed video on in equal to data set option link for the same I will give in the description below but here I am going to discuss on this very briefly. In is equal to data set option is used along with the merge statement. What in equal to data set option tells us is whether a by variable from a particular data set in a merge statement has contributed to an observation with the help of a boolean value. Another important point about in equal to data set option is it creates temporary variables. Now to understand this in equal to data set option let us look in the data step in here. In the data step in here I am saying data underscore null underscore which means I do not want to create a data set in here in the merge statement I am using previous underscore month data set and current underscore month data set and in here I am saying in equal to a as a data set option for previous underscore month and for current underscore month I am saying in equal to b and also i am renaming the salary variable in current underscore month to updated underscore salary and also i want you to quickly look into our by statement in here wherein i am saying by id now i am also using a put statement and what the put statement does is it puts the variable values into the log now to understand this now first let us create our data sets and then try to run this data underscore null underscore data step and after that this is what I see in the log what I have done earlier is I have copied whatever I have in the log and pasted in here now we can understand the concept of inequal to data set option in a much deeper level as I said to you earlier inequal to data set option creates temporary variables here previous underscore month will create a temporary variable a current underscore month will create temporary variable b these two variables can have only the value of one or zero and the value of one and zero is dependent on whether this by variable is present in a particular data set or not now let us get back to the observations which we wanted to discuss here for id equal to 1 we have a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 1 indicates that id equal to 1 is there in particular data sets when a equal to 1 indicates that id 1 is there in previous underscore month and b equal to 1 indicates that it is there in current underscore month same is the case with id equal to 2 and then a equal to 1 b equal to 1 means it is there in both the data sets now id equal to 3 we have a equal to 0 0 indicates that this particular id is not there in previous underscore month and you can see that that is the case and same logic goes for id equal to 4 a equal to 1 indicates that id 4 is there in previous underscore month data set b equal to 0 indicates that it is not there in current underscore month data set now that 
we have a very good understanding of n equal to variable. Now let us try to build our logic to get to our final result. What here I have done is I have written my basic code but what I have written also in here is let's code along. So what do you think is no change? So no change means it can be here and it can be here but there should not be any change. If it has to be there in both of them means we need to write if a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 means it is there in both of them and our salary and updated salary should also be same it should not change means we have one of these condition and also we have condition of salary and updated salary to be the same and we need to write salary equal to updated underscore salary. Then I'm going to write flag equal to no change. Now let us run our code and see what happens. If I run our code, you can see that this is what exactly what I was expecting. If there is a salary here and salary here and they are same, I'm going to say no change. And also if you look in, there is another scenario where I need to write there is no change. That is when we have in the previous underscore month but we do not have in here. So how do we, I write it? So you can see that logic from here. I can write if a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 then flag equal to no change. Let us run this code and see our result. In the result, you can again see that we were able to flag properly for the first and the last one. Now, how are we going to address when there is a change? When there is a change means it should be there in both of them and the salary and updated salary should not be same. Now let us go ahead and code this. Now I can write if a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 and salary is not equal to updated salary. I can copy from here and paste it in here and I can write not equal to. Then we can say that is change. So I will also copy from here and paste it in here and I will write here the value is change. Now let me run this and see our result. You can see that we have a change and we have the flag value has changed. Now we would like to address the last scenario that is when it is in here but it is not in here. So that is very simple. What I need to say is if a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 means it is not there in here but it is there in here. So then we are going to say the flag is new. Now let us run this and see our result. Here you can see that we were able to address all of this but there is one problem in here. That is whenever we have a change in salary we need to replace that by updated underscore salary and also whenever we do not have salary at that time also we need to update it by updated underscore salary. So what we really need to do is we just not only need to have the flags for changed and new we also need to write additional code to update salaries. Now let's do this and I can do this with the help of a do group and in here I am doing that. I am saying then do flag equal to changed and the salary I want it to be equal to updated underscore salary and also I need to write an end statement for this one and the same thing I need to do in here also wherein I am saying then do flag equal to new and the salary I wanted it to be become to updated salary. Now let's do that and also I need to have an end statement. Here what I would also like to do is I would like to indent my code so that it is little easier to see. Now let us quickly run this and see our result. In here I want you to focus on two observations that is second and third observation. So whenever there was a change our salary got updated and also when it was new our salary got updated with updated underscore salary. Now we are good to go and we do not need this updated underscore salary variable. So we can quickly drop this 
and then I am running and once you can see that we have exactly the same result what I have shown you in the very beginning for ID we have salary of 1000 no change 2 3000 change 3 4000 new 4 5000 and no change this is what we were talking about in the very beginning we can further simplify this code especially for first two if statements but i'm not going to talk about that and i'm going to end the video in here if you know what i'm exactly going to do to make this look little bit more cleaner please do tell in the comment section below that's all for this topic thank you